Assassin's Creed has some of the most skilled characters in all of gaming, at least in my opinion they do. They are able to take on hordes of armed enemies and the variety of weapons they have experience with is, with is also quite vast. One of my favorite parts of the series is the differences between each of the main characters as well. They are not all cookie cutter carbon copies of you know the last assassin. Like Ezio's natural talent really shows and Connor's parkour abilities is what makes his game one of my favorites. And Jacob Fry, even his charm is just a couple of the things that I can name off the top of my head that makes these characters different from each other. So I figured it would be cool to go one at a time through all the main assassins in the games. And as such, we had to start with the man that started off the whole franchise, Altair. What's up guys, it's the old ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. Now, before we get started on the man that started it all, I wanted to know who do you think is the best assassin in the Brotherhood? There are tons and tons of options and so I'm honestly just curious who you think is the best and I'm curious to see, to see who uh, picks who my favorite is, like if you could guess which assassin, not the game, but which assassin is my favorite, which I don't think you'll guess it, but we'll find out. But anyway, let's actually talk about Altair. Now, I may just be old, but the original game was released in November of 2007, a whole 17 years ago. Yeah, 17 years ago. And even Altair's last game to be featured in as a playable character was in Revelations, which was 13 years ago in 2011. So I kind of expect a lot of people to not really know who Altair actually is, which is why I'm going to talk a little bit about him. Altair was born in 1165 in the mountain fortress that served as the stronghold for the Assassin's Brotherhood at the time. Being raised by the Brotherhood and trained at a young age due to both his parents being unalived. So yeah, he was an orphan and, you know, the best characters in fiction are orphans. But growing up in the Brotherhood allowed him to quickly rise through the ranks as an adult because children raised in the cult make the best cult members. And you can read as deep into that as you want to. But that's why he was considered to be one of the most committed to the principles and goals of the Brotherhood out of all the assassins, to the point where they actually trusted him to recover the Apple of Eden artifact, which is quite a big deal. And throughout his journey, he has seen some of the flaws and, and downfalls of the Assassin's Brotherhood. And so instead of just dipping, you know, he instead writes the guild to the Brotherhood's philosophies, techniques, and actions that basically run the entire uh, organization going forward and are a large part as to why they were able to endure against the Templars for so long. Which is honestly a really wild feat when you think about it. Now, technically, what the Assassins train is a fictional blend of martial arts. However, because Altair has set the bar in almost for almost every other assassin that comes after him, which in turn means almost every other assassin in all of the games with a few exceptions, let's figure out exactly what mix of real world martial arts would actually end up looking like the legend himself. And then we could take that base that we build in this video and apply it to many other videos going forwards, talking about the other characters specifically. We are obviously going to start with ninjutsu. It's a traditional Japanese martial art practiced by the shinobi. It encompasses a wide, wide range of skills that will really found, like found, fun, ugh. it will really form the base out of pretty much every assassin ever. Specifically those skills being espionage, stealth, guerrilla warfare, and disguise tactics, all of which are a cornerstone of the assassins, like I said, which makes total sense because the Assassin's Creed is basically a what if story. What if Europe had ninjas? That's pretty much what this is. So it only seems right to include it. Next, we are going to need to uh, seriously learn some parkour. Now, that is an obvious staple of the Brotherhood and of the Assassin's Creed games as a whole. Now, I won't go super in depth into parkour in the rest of these videos, but I do wanna cover a little bit of it 
uh, in this video just so to keep everyone on the same page as to what it is. Parkour or free running is a way of navigating through urban environments, jumping over, rolling under, or flipping around anything that's in your way. And it actually ends up coming from the military, derived from uh, obstacle courses that they would have soldiers run during boot camp or training sessions. And over time, it just morphed into what it is today, which I think is really cool and makes it perfect for this combat style. And for most of our weapon slash hand-to-hand -hand combat, we are going to spec into HEMA. For the uninitiated, that is the Historical European Martial Arts. This will allow our assassin to basically use any weapon that they are going to come into contact with in their area. Obviously, they are in Europe, so it's mostly just European weapons. Until later on, but we'll get there, don't worry. But Hema will serve as the base for the combat portion of our training as an assassin. Now, like I said, many of the other assassins we'll talk about in the future have the same base that Altair does, and it's because it works. Like, he set the bar for a reason. He is that guy. <laughs> Like, he really is just that dude until Ezio comes and barely edges him out. But, you know, we'll talk about that later. For now, let's go outside and learn some of Altair's moves. So today, we're actually going to be doing two different moves that Altair uh, does in the show. And that's mostly because the first one I wanted to cover is a staple of almost every assassin using the Assassin's Creed Hidden Blade. But it's not super complex, so we're also going to use this sword right here. To do a, uh, a second one uh, if you would like this sword I'll leave <laughs> links down below but uh, we're gonna use a second one that you see Altair do with a sword so for our first one we're just gonna learn how Altair does uh, his assassin's creed you know assassination with the hidden blade now our hidden blade is gonna be on our right wrist for example we're gonna use the wrist, this wristband uh, to indicate which hand has the hidden blade uh, when we see Altair jump into many of his targets doing this famous, famous move, he oftentimes extends his left hand to hold his victim in place and get a grab on where they're going to be so that he strikes with the blade exactly where he wants to, to put the blade. <clears throat> and as he does this, he jumps up, extending that, that hidden blade in the back and reaching out so we get this really good push-pull momentum that kind of pulls our target into where we want them to be. And so when we do that, what we're going to do is we're gonna take a step with our left foot and use our right leg to jump us in the air as we pull back and open up. It's gonna look like that, just pulling that back right leg up and back to open us up and really get the full extension on our Assassin's Creed strike <laughs> just like that and it's gonna it's really simple just like i said again stepping forward with the left leg right leg swings up reach out with the left hand and the hidden blade comes in oftentimes underneath the jaw or a kill shot one more time all the way through just like that oftentimes landing on the part the, the target that you're attacking i don't obviously have anyone else um to do these videos with so i don't have that but in theory, you would actually land on your target on the ground in a crouched position. Now, <laughs> for our sword move, <laughs> this is a really, this is a really cool one. I really enjoy this one. I did a whole video for Karate Mart, uh, breaking down this sword and using it to cut flaming fruit. It was great. Um, and so today we're gonna use it for our combination that we're gonna do for Altair's sword move. This is one of my favorite finishers that he does in the show. So we're gonna start with a block. Um, assuming a strike is coming from our side, we're just gonna shift our sword over and block. Then we're going to actually let the blade swing backwards behind us and up to break that elbow. Our, our intention is one, as we shift our weight, to come up to the elbow, just shoot, either chopping through it, but in the game it doesn't actually fall off, even though it might do that in real life. It doesn't actually fall off, it just severely breaks that arm. And then Ezio spins before doing his final strike. So we're gonna take our blade, two thumbs up with our right hand on top. We're gonna take our right hand, our right leg, excuse me, step behind as we turn and finish with a cross strike going from the top left 
to the bottom right of our opponent. One more time again, this is starting with a block into an elbow break, and we step into your finishing strike. This was my favorite, uh, absolute favorite uh, finisher when I was playing the game. I would always try and get this one in particular. So one more time, one, two, and three. All the way through a little bit faster. It looks like one, two, three. Just <laughs> like that. That felt good, especially like doing this combo and seeing it when I was a kid, wishing I could have done it and now being able to do it and not only do it, but teach you guys. Ugh, it's full circle, it's really cool. And like I said, links to this down in the description. Let's go back inside. Thank you guys so much for watching. I wanna thank my members, specifically my member, cause I only have one right now, but here you are. You are awesome for supporting the channel. And if you wanna join him on the end of all my videos, definitely consider becoming a member yourself. But I absolutely love the chance to talk about Assassin's Creed. They were some of my favorite games growing up. So let me know what Assassin you think is the best. Like I said earlier in the comments down below, and until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Be the modern ninja, but lift off. Just know I'm dangerous. I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pink Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to